okay so welcome to another video and in this one we'll talk about creating our personal vpn now if you don't already know what vpn is well that's perfectly fine vpn lets you mask your real ip address and replaces it with new one making you potentially anonymous in the internet vpn is used for endless applications but for this video we'll limit it to creating vpn so let's get started Okay, for this tutorial, we'll be using DigitalOcean. You are welcome to use whatever VPS you want, like AWS or whatever else. But if you use my referral code given in the description of this video, you will get $10. And since we are using $5 per month one, you will get two free full month of VPN access. And that's pretty awesome, right? Let's start with creating our server. So to do that, log into your DigitalOcean management console and if you are a first time user then your console will be the same as mine. Okay, now click on create droplet, select Ubuntu 16.04.3, we'll stick with $5 per month one as I said earlier. Now choose the closest region to you or you have any other strong, stronger region to go for different region. I'll go for Bangalore, that's India. Now, if you are not planning to use this server other than VPN, don't create SSH keys. And if you want to learn more about SSH and SSH keys, let me know in the comment section below and I'll create a separate video for it. Okay, give VPS a name. I'll go for home VPN and hit create. This will take some time to get created and it will then assign an IP address from DigitalOcean. In the meanwhile, let's talk about different clients that you can use to get connected to the VPN server. Keep in mind that all these clients are free, available on Mac, Windows, Android, iOS and Linux. So let's talk about Mac client first and that is TunnelBleak. Now I already made a video on TunnelBleak, please check that out. And in this one, we'll be using TunnelBleak itself. Now for Windows users, you need to download this client and open vpn connect apps are available for both ios and android devices and for linux simple command called sudo apt-get update open vpn will do all the links are given in the description below use my referral link to get 10 dollar coupon from digital ocean okay so now our server is created and assign an ip address so first off Check an email that you just received from DigitalOcean and note the IP address and password. Please don't get much excited as I'm going to change my password or probably will delete the server instance itself. Once you copy the IP address, open your terminal window and type ssh space root at following your IP address from DigitalOcean. Hit enter. Type yes. Now copy your password and paste that in and hit enter. So when you log in for the first time, you will have to change the password. So enter the password again, your new password and re-enter it. Now you are successfully logged into the server. First thing you do when you get new server or any Linux machine in general, Make sure you keep it updated and for that type apt-get update and an apt-get upgrade hyphen y. It will update the system and upgrade all the packages. Okay, now go to this GitHub repository from user called NYR. Link is given in the description of this video. Now if you don't trust this kind of scripts, which I don't know why, then don't use it. But then the same process will take like half an hour and require good programming knowledge. For other, go to this line of code right here and paste that line into our terminal and make sure you are logged into the server. Hit enter for IP address. For internet protocol type, we'll select UDP because it's fast, efficient and connectionless protocol. Port number is okay. 
for DNS choose Google Google is fine and now for the client name enter the name of device or machine this will create a certificate that you can use in one device you can always create additional client certificates afterwards for your device for your family or your friend but to start off let's start with home VPN and you can always revoke this certificate if you change your mind for now hit enter and it will set up and create a VPN certificate for you I recommend you to use the script to make things simpler and now most of our server side work is done so far we have created our server and installed a script to generate a VPN certificate generated our client certificate and now it's time to jump on our client side now we have to download our client certificate on our client machine and for that let me clear out the screen first okay so client certificate should be in the root home directory to see the file type ls and this is basic linux command to list out the files and directories as you can see we have two files over here called home vpn o vpn and that's our certificate and the second one is open vpn install bash file now we'll use simple secure copy command to download our certificate from the server so create a new terminal on our client side type scp root at following your ip address colon root slash home vpn dot o vpn space your client directory and that is going to be tiddle slash desktop hit enter add your fingerprint and your password and it will get downloaded to your desktop remember this command is only applied to mac linux and other unix like operating system for windows use ftp as ftp clients like filezilla okay so now our certificate has been downloaded make sure you have installed open vpn client on your machine okay before we do anything further let me check my ip address first and i use what is my ip address.com and as you can see my ip address and current location is exposed okay so now open our certificate file by double clicking it and follow the procedure it may ask you for your admin password just enter it now our client is ready to make connection to the vpn server so just click on connect to home vpn and let it get connected once it gets connected let's go to browser and check for my ip address and location and bingo my real ip address and location is replaced by new ip address from digital ocean okay so that was all for creating and connecting to the vpn server now if you want to create an additional user or revoke permission for existing user go to the server and let's start with adding a an user first so while in the home directory type bash open install open vpn install dot sh and hit enter this gives us this options now to add an user type one and hit enter okay so in this prompt you will have to enter your client's name this might be your iphone android or uh, your dad wants to use your vpn or your mom wants to use that just enter the client name and hit enter this will generate the certificate now let's list it out and as you can see we have certificate for that client now you can download and use that certificate as usual now to revoke the permission of that user because she doesn't want to use that vpn anymore so type again bash open vpn install dot sh now select option 2 it will prompt you with the list of existing users just enter the index of that particular user and hit enter now the certificate can no longer be used to connect to the vpn server 
Okay, that was all from my side and make sure you use my referral link to sign up at DigitalOcean as it will help this channel to grow. If you have any queries related to this video, comment down below. I will be more than happy to answer your questions. And please don't forget to like this video if you like this video, subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. And with that said, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.